Let's delve deeper into lesson number 20. Out of the abyss of the human heart comes all sorts of depravity. Now, depravity is deep moral corruption, wickedness, or perversion. For there to be depravity, there, there must be some standard of behavior to define what is right, good, and just. Well, that standard is the righteousness of God. Now, righteousness means right-wise, rightly related, functioning as designed. Something is righteous when it is and does what it was created to do. Now, depravity is not a minor infraction of righteousness. From the perspective of a holy God, depraved behavior is shocking. It's heinous. It's deeply disturbing. There, there is this intentionality, a conscious choice is made to engage in depraved behavior, unrighteous behavior. This choice is a deliberate rejection of what is good and what's right, often disguised as, oh, this is my truth, and I do what I want, when I want, to whom I want, regardless of the consequences. Well, because a voluntary choice was made, you know what? There's no remorse for the decision. I don't care if I break your rules or offend your sensibilities. This is my life, and I'll live it as I choose. Well, depraved behavior is always harmful. It's harmful to the individual, to the community in which the individual lives, and to society as a whole. Those who have bent the knee to the Lordship of Christ have a guide to moral behavior. Throughout the scripture, we have examples of what righteous behavior is. God's commands and the teachings of Jesus reveal what righteous behavior is all about, what behavior aligned with God looks like. Now, when a person chooses to reject these moral guidelines, they start down a slippery slope that ends with their conscience being sealed. They lose the capacity to discern right from wrong, good from bad, just from unjust. And when that happens, such a person begins to plant seeds of self-harm and destruction into their own lives. And eventually, their choices for depravity result in manifestations of death, definitely spiritual death, often relational death, and sometimes even physical death in this life right now. Is it God's anger and wrath vindictively judging and then punishing a person for ignoring his invitation to enter into a right relationship with him? Or is it the resulting hell created because of a person's choice? Well, when depraved people hit critical mass, the society implodes. The destroyers become the destroyer.